Maryland's high school principal, Katie Wagner, who is currently on administrative leave, has now been indicted on six charges, including two felonies. Yeah, she's facing two counts of criminal mistreatment and four counts of official misconduct in connection with the sex abuse scandal that has rocked the St. Helens community. Fox 12's Dylan Scott joins us now live in St. Helens with the latest details. Dylan. Pete and Riel, good evening. Now, these charges from the Columbia County District Attorney's Office date back to 2018, stating Principal Katie Wagner failed to protect her students or report these cases of sexual abuse. Now, these penalties are severe and, if proven, could lead to serious jail time. All day I was like, ooh, something's brewing. It's like the calm before the storm, and then the charges came out. For St. Helens High School parents like Tiffany Cooper, Tuesday's indictment of Principal Katie Wagner by the Columbia County District Attorney's Office is another step in what she says is needed justice. Finally, it's sad that the courts are kind of having to force the accountability, um, but at least it's, it's a start. It's a start and definitely a move in the right direction, and that, that gives me hope that it'll be handled correctly this time and the kiddos can feel safe again. The six charges state that is exactly what Wagner failed to do in relation to repeated sexual abuse allegations as early as 2018. With two counts of criminal mistreatment in the first degree and two counts each of first and second degree official misconduct. The first two are considered Class C felonies and can carry with them five years in prison and up to $125,000 in fines. I appreciate what he's doing, what the courts are doing, and the combined efforts with the police department. I just hope that they continue. Just keep it going. Don't let the momentum die down. There's a lot to sift through. Cooper and many parents in the community say they hope the DA will do just that. The superintendent as well, and um, some, if not all, of the board members. Now we reached out to the Columbia County District Attorney's Office for comment, including whether or not the superintendent or school board members could face similar indictments. We'll keep you posted on the very latest. For now, in St. Helens, Dylan Scott, Fox 12, Oregon.